Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Inkako, and welcome back to Bug Fables and the Everlasting Sapling. Last episode, we finally retrieved the Hives Honey Factory Core. Holy, we spent such a long time in the Honey Factory. It's actually kind of unreal. Ten episodes on Chapter Three, granted, we spent quite a long time just doing side quests on Chapter Three. Anyway, let's just get right into the this thing with the Ant Queen. I kind of forgot her voice, but also not really. Team Snake Mouth, it is my joy to see you return with good news once more. We have brought the artifact, Eliza. And we, and by we, he means all of us, isn't that right? And no. Indeed, without Sasp, Motiva, Jen, and Neri, we might have not succeeded. <laughs> it is, it's nice to see you all working as a team. Today marks a historic day! We have finally found all the artifacts! If only words could show my gratitude! Sarian, please hand them the reward. I can only hope it's enough to mark this wonderful day. Crystal Mary. 50 berries. My, this might have been worth the trouble. A new rook is coming. May I? Inspect it, Professor. Mark the end of this long search. Oh god, a ah, heck, splinters. Speak now. This is the whole artifact. Oh, what? Explain yourself now. Was this not in your notes? Look, this, this artifact has a small mechanism at the bottom. It's missing a half. A half? Curses. Where would we even start to look? We were so close. Time is running out! What do you mean? The was Kingdom grows bolder each day. We hope we could gather them all before they met their move. Their move? Are they going to invade or something? Calm yourselves down. We just need to find the other half quickly. Who the fuck is speaking? <laughs> uh, is that like Eri? Erin? Is that so? You're gonna love this then. Oh, is that... <laughs> Oh, Stranos and Delilah. My esteemed scout team, you have something to share? If we already heard that right, a half is missing, yes? We are super sure it's within the Lost Sands. There's this peculiar area we have staked out for days. The Sands hide more secret still, incredible. In the most plain of corners, a sun castle hides. But only with two special keys with the wings uncover it. We suspect the missing artifact is there. It used to be an area previously inhabited by the roaches, according to my notes. A sand castle, you say? Where would its key be? The mayor of the Fire Root holds this secret, but he asked that we told everyone here first. This is great news! We have a lead again! Sorry and reward them. They have prevented this day from being an utmost disaster. Oh, it was nothing, my queen. We we live to find secrets. We'll head out to ahead to investigate further. Just reward us later. <laughs> I was send Maki, but he has yet to return from his mission. Team Matiba, Team Snake Mouth. Leave it to me, my queen. That key will be yours before you realize we've gone. You bet, and we'll be the ones to bring it. Can't we go up right now? Some um, healthy competition won't be the worst. What the fuck is talking? <laughs> Suit yourselves, we'll finish this search. Best of luck, everyone. Your orders are clear. Speak to your mayor of the final route and begin your search. Chapter 4. 
Mysterious lost hands. Okay, now it gets interesting. I have my microphone way too close to my face. I really hope <laughs> that whole conversation didn't just sound like <laughs> to the microphone. Although, honestly, the sun gets all over my cloth and I've got errands to run. Being a star and an explorer is so taxing. Oh, boohoo. Come on, Matiba. I will manage until you return. <laughs> this is why you're my partner. See ya, Snake Mountain Deserts. Who knows? Without her there, we might actually help each other. Cusp! Let's make sure to finish any of our business before departing. Stocking up on some items would be wise as well. There are some spikes in the desert, right? If we could cross them, we, so we could search a bunch of places. Spikes aren't much compared to our electric shots. A bubble shield should be able to cross, acro to cross across. Oh, that's true! Excellent, let's prepare let's prepare and see what new paths we can explore. That's true, I completely forgot about the bubble shield. We can explore actually fun paths in the golden path. As well. Hey couple. Yes, Neo, may I be of service? I found it during my research, and the Queen has been too involved in the artifact to take note. Oh, a weird stone given to you by Neolith. It should it's somewhere? Oh, this is... okay. I can say for sure, but I think it's a key to for somewhere. I'm quite tired of researching stuff, but the last lead I got was in the outskirts, east of the association. We look into it, Neil. You have my word. Oh, so it's not for... okay, okay. I know what this is then. This is for the, the thing that I keep going into with the big random thing pot. <laughs> Find the missing artifact, as a defined route for kings. Anyway, let's get a move on. Chapter 4 starts, and with that, let's do anything but Chapter 4. We have a lot of exploration to do. We have, well, the paths on... Holy shit! Actually, we have the path on the Devourer. Do you remember there was like a path on the Devourer thing? In the Golden Path that had like a, a metal? And there's another path where we got the spiders. On the golden path as well. With spikes and there's of course uh, the lost sands where they teased us. There's a bunch of stuff that we need to, to explore. That shield opened up a lot of possibilities. And of course we have like 10,000 more. Check it out! There are some new quests available for you! I forgot our voice. So this is the house that I can buy, which I could buy, I don't wanna though. Oh, you have new medals. Do you though? Frozen? It's actually pretty damn cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but it's very situational. If this applied to the entire team. It would be really cool. Now this is pretty cool. But 65 berries though. I don't really need it. And so we all kind of useless. Here, take all my money. This should have always been here. Oh, oh, who are you? <sighs> How can any mug live here? The sun's so strong. Goodbye, okay, I've just come to keep you company. Uh, how she's faring? Maybe she should go back to the hive. Oh, 
Your team's name on, right? Be careful when heading out for a while, so playing creatures are so starting. It takes two hits to bring them out. Ah, perhaps I'm the queen of multi hit super smackdowns. That is true. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention. There's quite a few things that I forgot to mention. You can probably notice a slight increase in quality. I switched from bitrate to... Oh, hello. Oh, they are still fucked up a chapter later. I switched from bitrate to a system called CQP, which should increase... which should remove any bitrate artifacts at the expense of quite a lot of file space on my end, like going from like 800 megabytes to around 10 gigabytes whenever I finish recording, which is a lot, but it does improve the, the quality of the video tremendously. So that's one. Okay, HP plus plus. <laughs> this would be interesting. Instead of the favorite one, metal, I could put this on life instead. You know how I have this synergy with life, where I I have this that reduces their defense by one, but I have the super uh, the back support. I could remove the favorite one, which basically buffs the entire team, which is way way better. But instead, buff life by default, which is worse. But interesting idea. Oh yeah, uh, there should be an increase in quality. Other than that, <laughs> um, some of you may know I upscale my Bug Fables videos because I record downscale from 1080p to 720 because my computer cannot handle recording at 1080p, otherwise it lags to hell. But here, a little tidbit about me in case it isn't obvious judging by my two series on Celeste and the fact that I'm playing a little niche in the title... Whoa, what's this? A little niche in the title, Bug Fables, but I am... I am very, very liberal. Uh, like, well, some of you may know I'm like gay as hell. <laughs> First off, I have gay friends, of course, I have trans friends. I am a woman, for crying out loud. Uh, so it's very unsurprising to know that I am also very anti-AI, so it is very very funny knowing that <laughs> when I, I asked around asking for tips on how to upscale my videos, there were inevitably quite a lot of people ask, uh, telling me to use AI upscaling, which I, ups I of course... Um, Told them to piss off kindly, but uh, it, it is very funny because I am telling people like I cannot record at 1080p because my computer is not quite powerful enough. Uh, because my computer is not quite powerful enough, and oh. wow. Secret entrance. And they're fantastic solution because they are AI, bro. Hold on, let's check this real quick. I don't want to get into the lion's den. For second lands. Lost sand. Metal lake. Where are your soldiers? Yeah, they should be fine. They're a new enemy. That makes me excited. Oh, this is a bit annoying. Well, what do they see this thing? We've gotta be careful. Let's gang up on it before it makes too many jumpers. Oh god damn it. it! It attacked twice? Well that's just unfair. I know just how to absolutely fuck you up. 
Is this gonna be worth it? Probably not. <laughs> but that just absolutely destroyed their HP and this is gonna deal... what? For... fuck! Hmm. That would have dealt 5 damage. No, yeah, 4 damage, but... You win some, you lose some. I didn't... Okay, well, they already have that again, which is annoying. Do I deal with it? I'm gonna deal 2 damage with everyone. Sure. I probably killed it this turn. Whatever. inspiration points I feel like I worked my ass off for that oh well that is a bit convenient <laughs> um as I was saying I I had people in their absolute genius idea when I cannot record that at 1080p they tell me hey mm. oh this is just Oof. Holy shit. Okay, I'm starting to understand why life's empower skill would be nice because I could use life's empower skill on Kabu and then just absolutely fucking obliterate everyone here. What the fuck is this? Anyway. That's not piercing. Am I high? Doesn't this say piercing darts? Like, does it pierce if it kills an enemy? Is that why it says piercing? Now the question is, do I just freeze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just freeze coffee on the big one. <laughs> Not even gonna question it. But yeah, people saw that I, I cannot record at 1080p. And... In their in their giga brains, in their AI bro giga brains, somehow, and I cannot comprehend why they thought that. Fuck. That me using AI upscaling on a computer that cannot record at 1080p is somehow a viable idea. Yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're right, I should use AI upscaling, which takes so much fucking computational power, it's unreal. On my computer I cannot record that at 1080p. Why can that deal so little damage? I reduced their defense, didn't I? Okay, I wanna check something. Do I deal 4 damage to you? No. Why? I reduce their defense. Oh, like, what was the point? I don't know, but I feel scammed. How the fuck did that go in the... What? I, I just got absolutely fucking scammed. Oh yeah, of course, you're gonna spawn another one. And now I'm not gonna kill it. I'm so fucking pissed right now. No, you know, I don't have it. <laughs> that is quite unfortunate, ain't it? Well then. <laughs> Moral of the story is, AI bros are something else. I sure need this. Yes. <laughs> you see them buy again? Ah! Got conked. Ah! I don't have an extra turn! Oh well, this is gonna get tiresome. <laughs> Oh! 
stop! It would be awesome if you gave me like 7,000 extra damage instead of plus one. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Take four damage. Oh, you can. You're not supposed to do that. What is wrong with you? Yes, keep attacking life. That's gonna work out great for you, buddy. And this is gonna deal one damage. No, it's gonna deal three. Uh, two, I mean. Because it's a super. Oh, it feels great to deal damage with life. Not gonna lie. No drowsy cake. There's a crack here. Surely they want me to explode something here. I'm not supposed to be here yet. But well. I mean I'm already here. Wait as well. Oh don't tell me this. Am I about to cheese this? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think that's how you're supposed to do this. But maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, you gotta be fucking... How? I'm not prepared to kill... Two of these fucking guys? I'm barely prepared to kill one! Why? Now you use Tornado to us? I have no idea how you hit that. Why did it deal such pathetic damage? <laughs> He's about to fucking die. <laughs> Just like that, I, I absolutely destroyed my reserves for no reason. I should have saved at least one. Should have probably used Frigid Coffin instead. Stop! Hey team, if we all work together, we can kill this guy. Right here, right now. I wasn't holding my controller. attack three times. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? If I don't heal by... Oh, he has so much HP left. If I don't heal by and I don't get a perfect block when he does his slammer, I'm going to fucking die. I think I, 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 think I just need to use this. And hear me out, just just free it coughing. Works out for me. <laughs> Ouch. And if we coordinate, we can kill this fucking guy this turn. That went well. Holy shit, that was tough. 26 exploration points. Ross Pie? What the hell is a frostbite? Ish. Okay, Ugh, don't fall down. I don't want to get up here again. <gasps> no. I refuse. Ah! Uh. Really? You're hiding a big one. Uh, this is getting too long. I don't want to edit this. I have no idea how tense that was. <sighs> no, nope, anything to. Oh! 
You're an asshole, because if I risk it, I can get a healing for free, but I can also be a pussy and heal, you know, by, by just paying up. That was a mistake. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is free the coffin and the one in the back. Second thing we want to do is have the Rousey Cake on live. Third thing we want to do is secret stash on the buy. Let's attack this fucking guy. I should have done that in reverse order. Ah, okay, this is a bit tricky. We're using free coughing for its intended purpose. Shut up. Okay, that's a tactical fucking hit. Now we can absolutely destroy this guy. Uh, never mind the, the, the miss block. That was completely on purpose. I love that even if I block, I get the... Oh, they are dead. Get us out. Perfect. Absolutely fucking textbook. I love how even if I get a perfect block... Ow! Ah, uh, they get buffed. That's really cool. You know what I realized? Even if I don't need to heal with Venus, I still need to use her because she... I used my game. Now... This is an interesting conundrum. I've been playing... Oh, this is plus one? I thought it was plus two. Never mind. Life to learn cleanse. That is quite interesting. Okay, I wanted to equip this. Uh, if that had been plus 2 HP to the whole team, I had I would have considered it, but... Does she save my game? No, because she's always near... Save crystals. What the hell? Okay, it's how it varies. It shouldn't, but... Does it save my game? It doesn't, I just wasted money. Oh well. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Oh no. This music. Chomper plus... I almost got eaten! This thing ain't messing around! She keeps spelling, spilling jumpers out, but I think I'm gonna beat her up first! Okay, this episode is already really long! Holy shit! I don't have a bounty for this fucking thing! What am I doing here? Am I really gonna spend an hour fighting this fucking guy? Yes! <laughs> I don't care! I'm gonna- I had really- I had a lot of fun editing the other episode, even though it was like really long. Uh, so sure, why not? It's just my item, so. I don't- I don't have many healing items, other than these basic ones, so I'm pretty fucked. Oh, from an enemy? Oh. Oh, I used Vi for the fucking spy, that was stupid. Now I cannot kill any of these fucking little guys. I messed up. Well, this is a practice run. What is Blood doing? Three damage! 
Oh, it buffed the big guy, that's why it dealt 3 damage. Fair enough. But I am also buffed. This is not a great use of my FP. That was good use of my FP. It didn't freeze though. That would have been really nice. 3 damage. Okay. Only one? Ah! That deal 6 damage and it healed! This is going to be hard. Well, that... But what am I supposed to do now? Do I target the big guy? Ah! He had double buff. I didn't even realize. Oh, this is... Precarious. I don't even have something to heal the entire team. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this without some nice items. <laughs> She's so fucked up right now. <laughs> Don't use the healing attack. Don't use the healing attack. More damage! I didn't heal fucking shit! I should be using my FP. Why am I not? It's because I need to keep I need to keep hitting these fucking guys every single turn. Can I not block that? Is that it? Because I saw the block animation on Cabo and I still got hit. Question, does Frigid Coffin work? I'm gonna assume that's a big nope. Oh shit. She's fucking dead. Still, even if I block. Okay, that is quite an open options. And I don't have anything to recover if TP. Oh. Yeah, as much as I would like to bash my head into this, I um I think I I think I may need to come back to this with very different gear. I didn't save after leveling up. That is also really annoying. But now if I if I exit the fight, I'm gonna have to exit through a save. And that means I'm gonna have to lose my level. Oh, that is really annoying. Yeah, I just don't have the items for this. I don't have any any TP recovery. I don't have good healing. I I only have this to buff myself. I don't have much really. The only healing I have is healing that makes me sleepy or frozen, and that's kind of fucking awful. Okay, I can block that. I, I genuinely thought I couldn't. Would have been good if they had targeted life, but they didn't. I mean, I can win this 
the only genuinely hard attack to dodge is the slammer, or like the bike. I press the block button, I'm gonna fucking die. This is just 4 HP, but doesn't consume TP. See, the issue is I deal very limited damage per turn, and then they can just bite me and heal it up. I need to get better at getting perfect luck on those attacks. It's just a battle of attrition, really. So long as I keep getting perfect locks. I, I just don't get the perfect locks. And I'm gonna run out of healing. I already don't have any healing there. I think Bai is gonna die this turn. Buffed! It gets two turns now! That is... Really... Really hard now. Okay. Ah... Uh... So he just says, fuck it, I'm gonna give myself two turns. So it can spawn two guys if they want. Fuck! He's dead. Hmm. I don't have enough to kill the... Fucking plant. He just did that twice. <laughs> Why? That's cheating. I, I feel like that has to be cheating of some kind. That's just like fucking. Even if I block, that's like 8 damage guaranteed and 8 HP they heal. I have to get a perfect lock to b get it down to 2. Holy shit, and that's still 4 damage, which is a lot. Well then. I have 1 HP on this motherfucker. No way to get it up. Oh, the double turn is just permanent, you know? Oh well, he's just dead. And now life is dead as well. Oh well. But I think I'm super fucked because... Question. I do. I absolutely fucking do. Okay, hear me out. I am constantly attacking with Vi, and Vi is the one that is constantly getting attacked. So, this is an actual fucking battle of attrition, which is rather interesting. Very, very interesting. There's also a strategy to be said about putting Kabu in front. But it kind of throws off my entire strategy because it's actually just kind of useless. I'm gonna disable this for for here. Enable life stealer on buy specifically buy. Sure, this might prove finally useful. 
I need to be very careful with how I use this because I have 19 TP for the entire boss fight. 19, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. There might also be some strategy around, around using one of these. Or some of these as well. Mighty Pebble, like I'm not gonna use Mighty Pebble. At all, because I'm, I cannot waste TP like that. So I, I could... I could absolutely buff the hell out of Y. Battle of Attrition. My damage output is going to be rather pathetic, but... Battle of Attrition. Just keep fucking hitting people. Mm. So I realize now, my strategy of... my I cannot insta-kill... The, the little guys with this uh, because I need to deal 3 damage to them with Vi and then 3 damage with life I'll figure it out let's just roll with it and see what happens Four. Okay, I'm just gonna keep healing and healing and healing. And that's the plan. Okay, this is where it gets interesting because... If they attack live... I just don't get a downside. Here, let's try to see what happens here. I use Tornado Toss. Well, no, let's save that. Because if it heals for every hit, I want to optimize that for when I have below 4 HP. <laughs> oh, shit. I still dealt 3 damage? Why? What? Why did I die block that? That is very annoying. Die. Okay, but that's okay. If Vi gets hit, that's, that literally doesn't matter. Okay, now I can test this. No, it just gives me 1 HP. That is unfortunate, but unsurprising. Dude. My cutting controller isn't working. Is there a different telegraph from when... They use... The hard seats or the sleep seats? I wonder. I, I thought they were gonna hit uh, life twice. Right, so Vi is like pretty much invincible, but the rest of the team isn't. Which, as you can see, is a bit of an issue. Especially when... When I cannot rely on insta-killing the chompers. I cannot get the fucking perfect box twice I might. I cannot do it. I. <sighs> that literally didn't do anything. This battle of attrition strategy isn't working because I, I I just don't have enough damage to kill this fucking chomper so if I cannot kill the chomper in one turn and then deal some 
overkill damage to the big guy. I cannot do anything. I would be able to if I had the timing down to get the perfect lock on the big guy's attacks every single time, but I'm just not good enough. Especially not when I'm, I don't even get a, a regular block. How am I low on HP with Bai? I shouldn't be. That's literally the point of this deal. I spent so many turns not even being able to do damage. <sighs> and whenever I get a chance to do damage, since I'm like bad at dodging or like getting perfect locks, I need to use that turn every 7 turns. To heal. Oh. Like now, for example, since I did so poorly, I would have to use this fucking turn to heal. And I only have one healing item left. This is so hard. And those projectiles are so inconsistent to block. I, I swear, they, they move so irregularly. Look, let's see, let, let me try to use Secret Stash on, on everyone. Let me weaken this guy first, so I can maybe get an extra turn next time. No, I'm dead. Defense, okay, never mind. Well, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now, because that extra defense is... Absolutely horrid. What the fuck? You know that's not what I fucking used to. I used fucking. Ugh. The only time I've ever used 30 and it's to fuck me up. Ugh. I have no idea how to perfect block that. If each devourer attempt took like 10 minutes, I swear I've been here for like 20 minutes and I've not even halfway through. This is unbelievable. And it's just because I literally just do not have the tools to do this. I am trying to weasel my way through this fight without the tools I need. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. With why if I get a perfect lock, it's just two damage and it's inconsequential. What? Getting the perfect lock is really hard on every single fucking attack for some reason. And I barely have a fucking chance to attack. That's unbelievable. Yeah, of course. And they can just decide to bite again. I am bad at the game. Still, not even halfway through because they just healed like 7 HP or 17 HP, I don't know, 40,000 HP. Maybe a strategy is to not kill the guy and just leave it like one hit. That's what I get. Oh! That times two... That times two was not... Um, the big guy buffing themselves. That times two was a little guy. Oh. That is interesting. I do wonder, can they spawn more than one? Can they spawn more than one? I got one more attempt in me. They just keep on healing in them. Ah! Well. Well, that's quite unfortunate, ain't it?
Okay. That took me like 30 minutes. Oh my fucking god. Okay. New strategy. We ball in. Fuck this bard of, bard of attrition bullshit. I say we let it rain. That's very optimal. I just focus fire on the big guy. Fuck! That's not a good way to start. At least they didn't heal anything. If they buff, if they get defense up, if they fucking get anything, I don't care. Let's just attack, attack, and don't stop attacking. Let's just deal damage and deal damage and deal damage and fuck this guy up. Okay, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> I, I might need... Fuck it, we ball in. Ah, uh, you know what? That is actually quite interesting. I don't need to deal damage with Vi, I need to heal. So... I'm not gonna waste the, the extra damage with like, But I can waste the extra damage with Kabo. I can sacrifice an extra turn with- Ah! I'm dead. Okay, well, th this is actually a, a little bit uncomfortable because I, I do kinda, kinda need to, to heal by right about now. I'm gonna use a minor heal. No, I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna use a minor heal. What you buffing? Attack up. I think if the little chomper has its damage, they prioritize attacking so they can refill HP before actually, you know, buffing the big guy. Yeah. Shit, fuck. Ass. <laughs> ah, stop! <laughs> that is way too much damage. I cannot out heal that. Not in a million years. Thank you. Fucking asshole. See how fucking much better this is going now that I'm actually attacking. Well, I cannot believe I was caught up on that other bullshit. Nah, I, if I do that, I should do it before attacking with Vi. Not when the turn is fucking over. Oh. Was that clear? No. Quite unfortunate, really. But it does remove their defense up. And now I can also give them a break. Now, if I may, I may even use a tornado to us. Why did I? Why did I only deal four damage? Life, that kind of fucked you up. Not gonna lie. Um. As much as I would like to attack, I think leaving that guy at 3 HP is such a fucking fantastic idea. But before I freeze life, I should definitely attack with them. Well, what are you gonna do, buddy? Defense up? You think I care? 
Ugh. I kinda don't care about that. Ah! Shit, fuck! Why did you have to unfreeze life with a fucking sh sh fuck? Cabo is kinda fucked up and I need to heal Cabo, but I also need to heal by... It is all sorts of messed up. If, I, if only I had that turn for... Or for this guy. For life, I mean. Attack up! Oh, thank goodness. I would have been like so fucking dead otherwise. Hey, Cabo, my boy, you need to heal yourself, like, right about now. Life, um, my boy, my... you. This cannot continue. Ah! Shit. I'm fine though, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Maybe it will work. I promise you. It's fine. Stop! God damn it, I need to start hitting those fucking perfect locks. There's literally nothing I can do here. I can keep by this. Maybe it does something. Life, this is your last hammon. Fuck me, just like that. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. I cannot really do anything. I mean, I can kill you in one turn. I've been saving up my stacks. There's nothing I can do against that guy. Nothing. Even if I get all the perfect logs from now on. If, if he decided to just hit me with the chomp over and over and over and over again. Nothing I could have done. I would have just lost the Battle of Attrition. Oh. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I did notice something. Oh. Life shouldn't be able to fall asleep. I don't need this right now. I'm not gonna use this. Sure. If Cabo falls asleep, sure. Let him regen HP for free. Why not? Surely that's gonna come in handy. Oh. Okay. Now we start. <laughs> hey, you just relay your turns to... Well, actually, for now... 
I think it may be better if you really your turn to lie, because by deals less damage and doesn't need HP. Why do you have full HP? Right, they hit Cabo. I'm stupid. This is going to deal like one damage. It's fine. Any damage dealt is good damage, I guess. They seriously call this motherfucker Mother Chomper. Fuck me, Cabo is already almost dead. I really deal that little damage, huh? Already? Oh, that already because I already dropped it down below uh, 25 HP. That is kind of insane. Okay, first and foremost. Well, not first and foremost. First and foremost, let me actually deal damage. Now. Heal Cabo. Now here's the question, do I start using my F my TP offensively? Because I can regen like 10 TP. Oh, it is an interesting question for sure. So here's the deal. Freed Coffin deals 5 damage. And Tornado Toss deals 4 damage. No question really. I think I should be using my abilities offensively. I absolutely should. That was on purpose. Whether it was a good idea, I don't know. But it was absolutely on purpose. Now, just freeze coughing again, first and foremost. Just in case I freeze so I get extra damage. I didn't freeze. Just tornado toss. Life is dead, but guess what? Uh, nothing. Just magic seed on life. Nah, it's not necessary. Just attack this motherfucker. Shit. Okay, they are alive and well. Uh, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen, actually. Just... They are dead! <laughs> That's what happened! And they said it couldn't be done! It just took an hour! <laughs> it just took an hour! It, 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 it... And... Well... Life is just taking a little a little nap. I don't have TP and I'm not gonna use my my frost pie for now. Uh, you know what I'm gonna use though? My fucking five damage that I've been storing. Oh, if only I had my I don't even have. <laughs> even if I had my pebble, I don't have enough TP. There is only one way to end this, the same way it started. There we go. <laughs> well, what do we have here? On a chomper seed. Maybe a scientist will know what to do with this. Oh. Well, we completely did a, a side quest out of order. That was an adventure and a half. I love these mini bosses, man. I love how they force me to play in ways that I I would have otherwise never considered. They 
I fucking put the non-resistance metal and the heavy sleeper metal. The, the life stealer metal, I, I knew I was gonna use it at one point or another. But the sleep metals, I honestly thought they would just stay there forever and never be used. I am quite happy of how this episode turned out. I didn't expect to just do a mini boss so randomly. Oh. This is this wasn't really a bounty. What was this actually? I only enough I didn't really think about freezing the smaller ones. They weren't a threat other than buffing the big one, but when the, the boss were mostly just defense and when it was attack I could have just used cleanse on the attack. So once I learned how the fight played out, it wasn't that big of an issue. Yep, that would have been a smart move, really. But to be fair, buying two turns, getting a perfect lock on the smaller ones was really not that hard. But yeah, maybe. I don't know, using 3 TP. Uh, if I had the, the means to recover that TP, maybe. But as I said, I was under. I, I didn't have the means. I didn't have anything to recover TP other than the Frostbite. And. Ironically enough, just like with the Devourer, the time I beat the boss is the time I didn't use any single fucking item. It is like poetry. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, what quite an adventure it was. Uh, next time, we still have more to explore. We, we have that path on top. That's the first thing we're gonna do once we start next episode. We have that path on the Devourer thingy with the metal. And then we're gonna go to the Lost Sands and explore a bit more. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to do the usual. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow for more. This is gonna be a doozy to edit. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye bye!